Alrighty then, well, without further ado, let's finally jump in. Finally. Start the game already. Oh, uh, exactly. I can spawn the DM. <laughs> <laughs> ah, not. Not. You wish. You should, actually. No. Are you, okay. what was that line? What was that line from George of the Jungle? Are you arguing you know with the narrator? You know what? If I don't agree with your with your decision making as DM, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna cast Karen. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> You're already speaking to the DM. The manager. No, I want to speak to your manager. No, uh, that'll be me. No, I'm the freaking manager. <laughs> <laughs> I run this game, bitch. You wish. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick it back up then. So let me see, because I'm trying to remember. It's been like two weeks. So what did we do the last time? Oh, okay. So my quest. Yes, exactly. So yeah, yeah so the last it. the last session that we did, yeah, exactly. We had just got done um, doing Eman's quest. So we navigated through this um, this hidden... Yeah, it's recording. Uh, we navigated through this hidden... Um, Apparently Same this this cave that was like a hidden temple to no. uh, Perforos, which apparently was uh, the location of the legendary weapon that um, Theomus had to pick up and take back to the temple at Mount Cure, Heliod's temple at Mount Cure. And uh, lo and behold, it was guarded yeah. by a fire giant who apparently had also killed Theomus's dad. So, we um, received some help from our gods in the sense that we got some really big mystical weapons, uh, namely me and Margo, and we went ahead and we laid it the we laid the smackdown on that doggone fire giant. <laughs> um, we beat the fire giant. The temple um, went ahead and just blew up to a million pieces. We made our escape. Um, got on the boat and started sailing off uh, and came to find out that apparently uh, by doing so that that went ahead and that uh, now we pissed off on yet another god with what we had to do. Um, but, it, but it is what it is. It never goes to, for, uh, to fruition. It never works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's just the name of this campaign, man. I mean, you please one god, you piss off another. I mean, it, it is what it is. <laughs> but... We went ahead and um, made our way back to the temple of Heliod. Eman turned in the weapon, but because of um, 
you know, both the Omises and his father's, um, you know, like devotion and heroic actions and whatnot, Heliot actually gave the rod of lordly might to Theomis. So it was his to keep. Yeah. <laughs> Went ahead and uh, continued making our journey to the Vale for the next meeting. Met up with the centaurs who had the, uh, the devil um, with them. And uh, we actually got jumped on the way there by all the by some soldiers that were representing all the gods that we had pissed off so like the returned were there the um cult of the pharaoh was there and also uh the little fire dwarfs for peripherals were all there we got into like a brief little skirmish with them but we killed them fought them off and made it to the veil in one piece um at the veil, they went ahead and they took possession of the, the devil and they're uh, doing their thing to kind of like, you know, get answers from the devil while we were presented with um, some choices here of some side quests that we could do to gain some allies. We decided to go ahead and uh, pursue the choice of um, trying to see if we could gain the allegiance of some uh, metallic dragons in the Dacre Isles. To, right, to help us um, in our fight against the, uh, the devils and the return. But first, um, what's it called? There was my quest of, um, that Iroas gave me. So what we're doing right now is we're, go we're heading off to um, Skofos. So basically, yeah. So my side quest basically revolves around... Um, there, Iros revealed to me that there's a uh, there's a stone giant that's up there that's you know harassing the um, the city of Skofos, the Minotaur city of Skofos, um, you know because of the fact that for some crazy reason they uh, they're not allowing him to compete in uh, the Skofos uh, games, which are like the Skofos version of the Iroan games. So, um, Iroas wanted us, well, he wanted me to go ahead and head over to Skofos, do some investigating and try to find out exactly what's going on with that and try to put a stop to the stone giant's, um, doings up there. So, Your chef, so we're, um, on our way to Skofos to do my final side quest. And then once we're done with that. Heading back to the Dacre Isles to try to see if we can finally, uh, you know, seek out these dragons and try to get their aid um, in the fight against the devils and the return. So. Can I still go to the Temple of Mogus? At Skofos, good sir. <laughs> yes. I didn't forget. Yes. <laughs> Skofos is, you know, Mogus Central. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this yeah. Is <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been missing my 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 god oh. so much. I'm I'm kinda like that. No, I don't can want to. Can I get the dice tree? That. Um can you pass it to me? Fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. I feel like that one woman that's in the relationship that gets abused constantly, walks away, and then it's like but it comes I back. Him. Goes back <laughs> I love him though. <laughs> he eats the shit out of you though. But I love him, and I, it was me. I was the one that made the mistake. No, he did everything right. I was wrong. I just, I made the mistake. I want to hear you say that next time Bogus slaps you. I know, right? <laughs> I love you too, Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna add that part, but everything else. <laughs> it was me, I swear. You're right, you're right. I know you loved me. And then in the end, I might get something time. good out of it. Or maybe I'll just get backhanded. I don't know. You yeah, might just get backhanded. I want to probably I'll be like... backhanded. <laughs> the last time you got a jar, <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you know, I'm like, I'm bogus. I love you. Got a jar. <laughs> oh, the jar, the doggone. Um... <laughs> but it was pretty useful, though. Hey, man. I all I'm gonna say is that that freaking Ketobo Plus thingy that you summoned, it did help us out in that last battle. So yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. 
It really did. The jar of, uh, the jar of jelly. I know, I was like, him. he summoned the cow. all over. Okay. All right, so check it out. So, so we start heading um, in a north... Um, Western direction, um, up to Skull Falls. So, we go ahead and, um, about three days pass by. We pass through Oreskos and we finally start making it, uh, through the, um, the barren wastelands of, um, what's it called? Of, uh, Fulberos, which is the region around, uh, Skull Falls. So, it's... It turned land? Um, actually, no, 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 no. Actually, the route that we're taking would take us through, um, the Ashlands, which... Okay, I was gonna say. Right, no, no. Fulberos is, like, return film. Right, so you got, you got Fulberos, like, right down here, you got Skofos here, and then, like, over here somewhere is Odunos. That's where, like, the return are at. So, like, the area that we're cross, currently crossing through is, um, is the Ashlands, which is basically, okay, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's by Mount Vesos. Exactly by Mount Vesios. Okay. Exactly. So, so it's it's a very like yeah. barren, you know, wasteland. Like you know, it's just very like deserty, and you know, the ground is like just covered in like dry, like you know, earth and whatnot. It just looks really, really dead. Um. Okay, Mordor. Right, yeah, 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 pretty much Mordor. Yeah, exactly. So we're we're crossing through that territory, making our way through. Um, way downtown. Yeah, making our way downtown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> making our way to making our way to Skofos. <laughs> you guys have, uh, matter of fact. Uh, E-Man and all your like Malaysian like scholarly knowledge and whatnot, you 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 know that this region is like and then me of course being from this region, um I kinda like <laughs> warn you guys like look this this region is very like wild, you know, there's um it's very hostile, you know, there's a lot of like you know like hostile creatures, you know, like there's it's very like a lot of like untamed like wild lands and stuff here. There's like wild bands of minotaurs and stuff out here so you so already know yes initiative. yes so you already know kind of going into this area that that we're there's probably going to be something we that's going to be jealous. that's going to be hunting us and stuff while we're here Aww. i mean so well, it pretty much goes game. without saying that as while we're crossing through these lands we're going to get into a fight with something trying to eat us or trying to loot us well, and Sure enough, like on the third day, we're crossing through the Ashlands, and you guys start feeling the freaking ground like rumbling and whatnot as we're like crossing through the Ashlands, and lo and behold, this giant like freaking worm, this giant freaking purple worm, just purple boom. Just comes out of the freaking purple ground. Purple yep, purple yep. this giant freaking purple that. worm <laughs> just comes out of the ground and look roars at us. The Alaskan bullworm. Yeah, the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> you roll your seventeen or better. Okay. So the good news is that um, all of us. We'll get like one hit on this thing before it can turn around and try to attack us. So, okay. you, yeah, so you guys, so yeah, so we're navigating through the Ashlands on our way to Skofos, and all of a sudden, just this out the ground, boom, this jog on this huge worm just pops up out of the ground, looks at us, and just rah, just roars at us. Woo! Uh, Mar. Morgan that came out of the sand in the first movie. Woo! Margo, you're up first. Yeah. You're up first. All right. All right, I'm going to charge. Okay. Woo, 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 woo. Roll my, that attack uh, roll. I'm going to do my great axe plus one and my maul plus one. Okay. Let's and see. My hooks. Cool boss. 20. Yes. Critical hit. Woo! 
Way to start us off. Go ahead, roll that damage. Give me the. Uh, let me see the calculator real quick. Yeah, the calculator. Woo! Okay, so that's 26 plus. Oh, it's okay. Just, just have a drink so you can like stay awake and stay engaged. You know what I'm saying? I got 46. 46. Okay, let's see here. Nice hit. Okay. Let's see here. Bam. All right. So you guys, so we see this giant worm and stuff. Margo wastes no time and just charges straight at the dog on thing. Yeah, she's got more balls. She got more balls than me because I mean, I, I straight up wouldn't freaking go after that thing. But <laughs> but she, yeah, but she just comes up, unleashes a beat down on the dog on worm. So good stuff. After Margo, um, baby, you are up. It is your turn. You are up against this. A uh, giant freaking purple worm. What do you want to do? Here's your character sheet right here. Oh no. Are, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Hold up. Hold up one second. Here, let me help you out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just remembered. Haven't done that yet? Hold up. Azzy and I both have ours. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have any, um, any, uh, what's it called? Um, <laughs> It doesn't have any uh, immunity to conditions or anything, so you, you, you can. <laughs> Are you gonna try to cast it? Are you gonna try to do it? I don't remember what Oh, this is gonna be so funny. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> Go to spells, go to spells, and then it's a third level spell. Wait, where'd it go? No, what did you do? There it is. Yeah, are you gonna do it? Yeah. Okay, hold up. Um, right there. Okay, you gotta make a ranged spell attack. Your it's oh lord, what? You already rolled, and you rolled a twenty. Oh my god, critical hit. Go ahead, man. <laughs> 3d12! 3d12! 3d12, and it has to, let's see, it has to, oh, it, you may not knock him prone or unconscious. Hold, hold on, let me see this real quick. Let me just see if he, um, if he passes the constitution save. No. <laughs> are you serious? What? Y'all are off to a bomb ass start, dude. Oh my god. Okay, 3d12, go ahead. Yeah, suddenly we be, we've all become super OP. <laughs> it's the, the, the soccer ball, the soccer ball. 3D12. I'm gonna roll shit okay. just a minute. There you go, okay. <laughs> roll it. I just feel it. I think it's kind of impossible if you're using your seventh level. Uh, six? Okay, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Kind of extreme. Another six? Six plus, okay, that's 12. 12. What? Oh, are you serious? Wow, 12, okay. 20. Four. Yeah, okay, so 24 damage. Nice, like, baby. At least try to put minus. some sort of smack down if I can. Okay, 201 minus 24. Yeah, okay, I nice. Range, but I got a close range to use any of the options. I don't trust myself. You, you can, that. yeah, you can do an extra attack. So check this out. Well, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let her tell y'all. So, ba okay, baby, baby. Okay, so tell the group the new spell that you cast. Well, I made up this spell. I've been talking about it for like months. So I decided to make it because he wouldn't shut up. Hold up, hold up. It's critical. I'm sorry. It's critical. Oh. So you do twice the damage. Twice the damage. So go ahead and roll the, roll the D12 three more times. So where you're Two. saying is every single one of us at this Ten. point has been Ten rolling 12? disgusting amounts of damage. Five. five. One, two, three, four, five. So an extra 17 and damage. Hold up. Uh, and then you, oh my lord, and then you go again because you got the extra attack. Okay, so, okay, so go ahead and tell the group, tell the group your new attack. Well, the name of my attack is called Bitch Slap. Knowing Sheila, of course it would be. Why does that make sense? She 
created so. we created a spell for her called literally called hey, bitch slap. In that mouth or I'm gonna talk to your manager. So, sad. <laughs> so she literally, Javi, you were an inspiration. Javi, Javi, you were actually an inspiration for this because in one episode you said cast bitch slap. So we gave well, her. I didn't hear it though. I didn't hear. It. I was. I don't. I was gone <laughs> when, he, when you said it. And I was like, that's so funny because I I was going to make a spell like that. <laughs> I didn't hear it. He heard it. But I was already going to do it before he said anything. So she literally, so we literally created a spell for her called Bitch Slap. So what she does, what she does, she summons a floating hand and she lashes it at the dog on target and the, this giant freaking floating head goes to the worm and scuttle up scuttle up <laughs> oh god don't forget the baby powder it's a baby cop dude so this <laughs> so this giant hand this giant freaking floating hand lashes at the worm and slaps it six times the worm falls on the freaking ground boom and it's knocked unconscious wait so we have advantage it's, yeah. it's knocked prone and it's she slapped it to sleep yeah <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. But she. Has... And it literally has five, five, you know. But you have extra attack. You have extra attack, so you can go ahead and hit him again. Oh. With bonus action. Yeah, because she rolled. She rolled a critical hit. So she rolled the damage twice for the thing, and then on top of that, she's she's a level five paladin, so she gets the extra attack, so she can attack twice. <laughs> that's sick. That's go ahead, sick. go ahead, go ahead. What are you gonna do next? I'm about to throw I have up. Club, and I have like a long that's club. disgusting. Okay, you wanna just just hit him when he's on the ground? Yeah. He's see, the worst. The worst. Yeah, just goes scuttle up, scuttle up, up. The worm is on the ground seeing stars. Total damage with everything involved. What was your total damage? Dude, she rolled 24 and then 17. So. And then I rolled again. 41. Yeah, so 41, and now she's doing her extra attack. And you're. Um, 2d8. I need to try to beat it when it's my turn. I got to. I have to. Okay, go ahead. 2d8. Did you did 70 damage with your 46s. Four. Something like that. They're like half of them are low. Okay, so an extra 7 damage. Okay. That's like, yeah, like only about 2 thirds of your damage. Okay. So, 153. Okay. And then. And then she rolled, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so Javi, so Javi, in total, she rolled 48 damage because she just rolled an extra seven points of damage. She just went ahead and she took advantage of the fact that the worm was downed and she just came bop, 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 and hit him with her, the sword and the club. So, Javi still has the record for damage here, though. Wait, what was, what was the most damage? Hold up. What was the most damage that you've done, Javi? 77, right? Or something like that? So, oh, against the giant. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, him. I think Sheila has second place because against the mage, she rolled, I think, like 46 damage or something like that to kill her in one shot. And then I think third might be Margot or me. One, one of the two. Yeah. Might be one of us. Um, But anyways, in any case, uh, Sir Eman. Sir Eman, you are up. I have using my extra attacks though Woo! i've just been doing the one and you got i got lucky with that critical so yeah i mean i, I try to beat my record you but roll with advantage because he's slapped to sleep to cast fireball <laughs> on him Fi fireball fireball yay <laughs> Woo! I'm, a light, I'm a light cleric so i have all fire attacks. Woo! all right good sir so you he needs to do a uh, dexterity 13 but he's unconscious so can he's he unconscious. do that dexterity save you know what yeah because he's unconscious i'm just gonna give it to you go ahead and just roll the damage all right here it goes <laughs> stand by <laughs> <laughs> I see some more stars. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is it just regular damage or critical hit? 31. Oh, ouch. Is it 31. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I think that's my record for damage right there. Yeah, is it, would it be just regular roll damage or would just, it be just quick? regular? Yeah, yeah, just just regular, just regular because he's a really big, bad, tough dude. So freaking okay. E Man just okay. goes and wow, Hadouken fireball and wah, just torches the dog on worm. Um, let's see here. After, are you serious, Hobby? You rolled a five, right? Yeah. Hobby rolled a five, so I go before you. Ha! Woo! Woo! Okay. For last. Woo! Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna use my hammer. Woo! I'm going to use my hammer. The last year. I tell you, man, like my rolls have been trash. I literally catered my hammer, whole attack come on, come on, come on. list on spells. Okay, on so. Rolls, not so we're gonna make an arranged <laughs> weapon attack with a hammer. <laughs> hammer is, Constitution saving throws. Okay, that no he more. Has to roll. It's I don't roll trust myself. D at all. Six. Okay, give me the uh, dice tray, please. Okay, I'm gonna Thor attack this thing. Let me see here. Let me see here. Eleven plus. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Got him. Okay, got him. Okay, and let's see here. Now let's roll a dog on D six. Two. Okay, let's see here. Okay, if the attack hits, roll a d6. Number rolled is the number of charges spent. Okay, let's see here. 1d12 lightning bolt spell. So I hit him for 2d6 plus 6. Actually, no. It's 2. What is it? It's 2. No, it's 2d10, what am I talking about? No, it's 2d10 plus my strength modifier, which yeah, is, my strength modifier is five. Oh, dude, let's go. Let's go, 2d10 plus dog on five. So that's eight. Three, one, two, three, plus five, one, two, three, four, five. That's 16. So 16. So let's see here. So I automatically deal 16 damage to the Joker. So I bring him down to 106 hit points. Okay. And I deal the lightning bolt spell on him. Let's see here. And lightning bolt. What's up, boo? Oh, let's go! Woo! An additional 8d6. Woo! Oh, Jesus. Two. Three, that's five. That's you. <laughs> that, that, that's two. Keep track of this. This is three. Okay, okay that's, be done. that's three. Okay, this is four. How much time do I have? Okay, this is five. Okay, this is six. Ah, oh, darn. Let me do it. This is uh, six. This is seven. And this is eight. Okay, nice. Okay, so I deal an extra 21 damage. Nice. Let's see here. Woohoo! Sweet. Eighty. Nice. Woohoo! All right. All right. So I go ahead. That's really good. So I go ahead and I take this new hammer that I got from my Rois and I just Thor attack this thing. Whoa! And I throw it at the dog all warm. Hits the dog on worm, and then on top of that, the hammer deals cast the lightning bolt spell from it the moment that it hits the dog on purple worm. So it deals an extra 21 lightning damage to it. So it hits it, and then blah, the surge of electricity hits the dog on worm the moment it hits. Woo! Javi, you're up! Woo! What you got? Woo! I can't do a critical hit, so it's not gonna be a lot of damage. But I got fireball with my level seven. Oh, competition of the fireballs here. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> I 
I got 46. 30 points. You got to watch duty. What's up? 46. <laughs> oh! Oh! He went up to you. <laughs> 46. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you guys. You're gonna leave me. I'm just, hey, 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 hey. E-man, E-man, I'm just saying, you could have cast it at a higher spell slot and then it would have done more damage. I'm just saying. No, that is my, no, that is my highest spell slot. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Woohoo! All right. But he did, he did do a pretty damn good job. Woo! Uh, that's for what? Woo, woo. Yeah, for what so, I've been doing, that's that's, that's pretty, pretty good, good damage. Here. Yeah. Outstanding damage. I kind of did shit because it's a fucking level seven, and I only throw through about forty six. Yeah, I mean, you should have done like fifty six. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> now the worm in one hit wakes up and like gets us over forty yeah, points no. of damage. Smells like bitch in here. Uh. <laughs> okay, so obviously continuing the onslaught, Hobby just hurls the fireball at the dog on worm. Woof! You know, just lighting it up in flames. Yeah, so the worm is like, you know, squirming and dog on pain and stuff, but it gets up, it finally gets up and just rah, it just lets out a huge, huge roar and is about to attack one of us here. Only one? A worm that big? One with a bite and one with a stinger. Okay, yeah. So the first one it, dog on, it targets is the one that just, literally just hit him with the fireball. It targets the Leonin. So, Javi, Javi, I need you, oh Lord. <laughs> I need you to do me a dexterity saving throw. Can I cast a spell though, or no? No, straight up dexterity saving throw. I was like, I was gonna say plane shift and go to a different plane of existence. That is really good, yeah. I think I'm gonna go back to the main plane. Hmm, that's not bad. What you got? 15. How much? 15. 15, okay, let's see here. The only thing is, you want to just get rid of it, it's shit. You just get rid of it. Yeah. You don't need to get rid of it. You just carry on with the same thing. I got a male stuff that's in the back of my car. I want to go through all of us where it's closed. Okay. So check this out. So this is what happens. So. Get rid of a lot. So, Javi, listen up. So you see the worm starting to like. Rah, like it opens its huge mouth and it starts trying to come at you. You try to dodge out of the way, but it's too late. The worm rah, grabs you, boom, it swallows you. What's the damage? It swallows you. No, okay, bad. 20, and you take 20 damage. <laughs> He's inside the worm. He's inside the worm. I can, I can literally tell. What is going on? The worm swallowed Javi, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> swallowed Javi. You need to pull a Hercules and just like slam it. No, because what if it grows two heads? <laughs> This is true. Mm -hmm. No, I just want to teleport. Like, I'm, I'm amazing. Come on, this is diet Greek mythology. Okay, we totally diet Greek it, mythology. <laughs> diet Greek. <laughs> Woo! Three, I like that. Three, D, six. Let's see here. Three, one, two, three, that's eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay. The next one it targets is the Triton. Wait, multiple attacks? Yes, it does multiple attacks. So it swallows Javi. And then the next the next one that did the most damage was Sheila. And she was the one that slapped him to sleep. So he has a personal vendetta against Sheila now. So after he swallows, after it swallows Javi, it turns around and bam, it, it freaking hits Sheila with its with his tail. Dealing 21 damage. 
Yeah, so so it deals 21 damage, and then baby, I need you here. Subtract 21 damage, and then I also need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Hmm? Just go to uh, hit points and then take away 21. 21, okay, and then hit apply changes. And then I need you also to roll me a constitution saving throw. Constitution, constitution, saving throw, constitution. Yeah, plus two. So roll me a constitution saving throw. No, 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 the d20. Yeah, the d20. It's always a d20, babe. There you go. Okay, go ahead. 17 plus 2 is... Oh my god, you're so lucky. Right on the money. <laughs> but okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... So it hits you with the stinger. You manage to kind of like, you know, bring up your shield right Is on that time. A so the so this yeah, the stinger pierces through the the shield. It still nicks you a little bit. Doesn't do as much damage because you managed to bring up the shield at the last minute, but it still deals about 16 uh, poison damage to you. So subtract an additional 16 poison damage. Um we are back to Margo. Okay. Um, I'm okay. gonna figure out what to do about Javi because Javi's stuck inside the dog on work. Again, Set it on fire. But because of my feet, I also get an oh, extra yeah. attack whenever I attack. Minus 16. So I can just do oh, that automatically oh, with oh, every turn. 66, 66, 66, and I still subtract it. So I'm gonna charge at him twice. With my, uh, uh, no, no, it, with my good, mom plus one and you're, my you're fine. three you're, you're, you're plus one. Nine. You're, you're fine. Okay, so go ahead and roll the attack. That's good. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen misses. So you you come and you start swinging at it, but the the worm sees you coming this time and it just whoop, just dodges out of the way and it, 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 you miss. Um. Let me see here. Ah, uh, baby, you're up. Your turn. Against the freaking worm. Okay, what are you gonna do this time? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't have any immunities, so yeah, you can you can do what you want to it. It doesn't have like any immunities or weaknesses or, or anything like that. Nah, don't do a cantrip. Do something strong. I would divine smite him. Yeah, I would just divine smite him to try to finish him off. He's he's um I know, I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell? There you go. Alright, yeah, I would just divine smite his ass. Eighteen hits. Yep, you got him. Okay, so go ahead and deal two D eight. Six, eight, and then plus another extra six. That's thirty-one. Now deal an additional two d eight because you're dealing. Uh, you're doing divine smite. Four. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. Uh, minus six, and then it was four. And then no, hold up. It was four and six, right? With divine smite, and then you're gonna extra attack them, right? So go ahead and do just do your two d eights. So your for your sword and your um, great club. Yeah, the two d eights, a diamond. Eight. Six. Six. You killed him. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Woo! Sheila just got really freaking mad at the damage that she took from this doggone thing, and she just goes. Ah! Bam! Divine smites him and then smites the dog on purple worm's head off. Oh, I have you, you idiot! And the
the worm just <laughs> just falls over. It's and then Javi out of it. <laughs> yeah. Javi just flops out of the doggone worm. <laughs> as covered in Yeah, covered in <laughs> ill ickiness and stuff. Icky, icky. Yeah, right as Sheila deals the final blow to this doggone thing. <laughs> oh, she killed it? Yeah, she killed it. Yep. Oh. Yeah, she killed it. She just uh <laughs> she divine smited his ass and then she just dealt a little extra attack and she she finished him off. So, um, what's it called? She dealt the final blow to this thing. It flopped over and it died as she like, you know, cut its head off and Javi just kind of flopped over, just flopped out of the doggone worm. <laughs> so he flops, <laughs> he just slumps out of the doggone worm's body. Oh. All covered in doggone ichor and like, like crack Yeah, exactly. Slump, exactly. <laughs> he just slumps out of the box. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm just I'm just gonna come over and I'm just gonna shake him. Are you okay? Are you okay, Leone? Are you okay, little buddy? Whoa! <laughs> no, no, it's just the dog on uh, thingies. Um, did you hear me? No. What's up? He looks like Ace Ventura coming out of the rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> That's perfect. Yes, exactly. Only he has all his clothes on still. He's just. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, all your gear is still in change and you're gonna have to just completely delete the whole session. <laughs> no I do have power here. <laughs> yeah, all your gear is still intact and everything. Fortunately just slimy. Yeah, fortunately though you didn't get too far down the esophagus before <laughs> Sheila chopped its dog on head off. So freaking you're out now. You're all right. All your stuff is still intact. Are you but all yeah, right? you're just covered in dog on slime. Are you <laughs> I'm just gonna come shake his body. I'm literally just a face of annoyance. <laughs> I'm just covered in slime. Yeah. And I'm just gonna give it Sheila the look of like just. No, <laughs> just don't don't say nothing. <laughs> don't, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> don't talk. You all, you gave the mighty Minotaurus a scare for a second. We almost lost you. <laughs> you like <laughs> I hate you all. It's okay. Just no worry. No, like no matter how much we you may hate us, Mocus hates you more. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Tough I look love, at my buddy okay. over here, and I cast awe on him. <laughs> and in the distance, in the distance, in the distance, Hobby, you can almost hear a. Kind of echoing through Nick's. <laughs> Wait, can we get an omen of, get an omen of Mogus to confirm? Yes! <laughs> laughing. Uh, tough love. Woo! Very All right, so. Very the problem of blood well, wells up in the shape of Mogus. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just saying. I cast on him. Give me that. I can cast on him, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me that. Give me that. Leon protects me against awe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got some awesome dog on Rodley Mike now that turns him into a Power Ranger, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't freaking mess with him like right I now. Yeah. <laughs> I can turn into like a battle axe. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really mess with him right now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do with this bra. <laughs> I can turn it into a I'm pole vault and like pole vault over walls. Right? And so I can paralyze people. Oh, I can. <laughs> you do everything. I'll just hit you with a paralyze. Wait, so you're not. <laughs> wait, so Javi, Javi you're not going to freaking. Javi. You do all this good stuff, but can it stop me from casting off? <laughs> I suppose not, but hold up. You're not going to do your, your traditional chopping the head off and making a doggone, like, decoration of the doggone uh, sacrificing it to Mogus type thing that you usually do? 
I mean, you got this giant... Why? Mogus was just... No, just fuck him. Mogus. I would say fuck you, man. He just cast all on him right off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mogus <laughs> 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 is about as loving as the army is to me. <laughs> what the, why do you all of a sudden get a first vendetta against me? <laughs> we helped you, dude. We got you out of the doggone worm. I didn't have what? to kill the worm, you know. I could have just let him why? digest you. All of us We're all hurting my feelings, and you all are. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Little Leo. 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 <laughs> the mighty the mighty I, the mighty Iros is always recruiting the mighty Iros is always recruiting <laughs> I mean you killed him no. you're dusty <laughs> okay so Maybe you serve your Lord and Savior Heliod. <laughs> uh -huh. Our <laughs> gods don't bitch slap us to sleep. <laughs> okay? There is a purposeful reason as to why I didn't sacrifice its bogus. Because when I get to the altar, I had need to have that one on one talk with him. <laughs> Which Wait, I say, can you please be a little Wait, more no, gentle? <laughs> That's you have well, diet Greek mythology lube while you go there. <laughs> Either's gonna go one way or another. I'm Ooh. about to be crazy Mogus or I'm about to be all by my goddamn self. That's where I'm at right now. With I have two options with this fucker. Either I'm still praising Mogus in the end, or at the end of it, I'm not praising Mogus no more. And I'm not praising any deity. I'm gonna say fuck them all. And then curse every single one of them. That would be true to the Yonin. I mean, hey, yeah, that was, that's, that's your choice. To the, uh, the hmm? That's your choice. But. Either way, yeah, for now, the the worm is dead. So, I mean, we're out of immediate danger. So, uh, are we just going to continue our journey to, to Skullfields for now? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Skullfield. Uh, Skullfield, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Gotcha. All right, so. Um, another day uh, passes by. Continue our journey. Um, the rest of the journey. This is a long rest. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. long that rest. Hit points back. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. You. Reco everybody recovers their hit points. It's a okay. long rest. Um, the rest of the journey to Skullfoss pretty much goes uninterrupted. Uh, you know, we don't get attacked or anything else. Um, we get to Skullfoss as I, I'm guiding you guys. You know, through the la the barren badlands and whatnot. Um, yeah. You just go like this until. Oh. oh okay. Okay. Until you're. Um, until you get to, no, until you get to 74. Yeah, until you get to 74. And then, yeah, apply changes. And then, wow, there you go. All right, so, um, you got, I'm, I'm assuming that none of you guys have ever have ever been to Skullfoss before, right? Other, other than me, of course, right? No, but I do speak Minotaur. You do speak Minotaur, okay, all right, so. So I can translate for everyone else. Right, 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 exactly, okay, so. We start approaching this, uh, you know, we're, we're still in the barren, like, wastelands of, you know, Skullfoss and whatnot, but you guys start seeing this giant freaking, like, uh, structure, like, this giant wall that's, like, made out of, like, red um, sandstone, and uh, we start approaching it. And um, as we're getting closer and closer and closer, you know, the wall just seems to be like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then um, where there seems to be like an opening going into this giant like red sandstone um, wall, there is um, approximately, you guys notice um, that there are about uh, three Minotaur. Um, standing at um, at this this opening, and as we get closer, um, you guys hear me say, "Oh no, not this guy!" Oh lord, is he your best friend? Far from it. He is my worst enemy. Aww, let's beat him. 
And I, I just turned to you guys. I just said, look, just, just let the mighty Minotaurus do the talking here. No. Why not? I would play. You don't speak Minotaur. You will translate. I, I, I can try. You will translate. I will translate, but I you insist. You speak Minotaur. I'll translate for you guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we come up to um to the wall here, and uh, we're met by these uh, these three Minotaur, and um, matter of fact. Margo, you recognize one of them as uh, the one that you did uh, the trial by combat in the council. When you did the trial by combat oh. at the council and you fought one of the Minotaurs? Yeah, he's there. And he just looks at you like... Hoof! And he just like lets out a hoof, a puff of smoke. And then Javi... <laughs> The other one is the one that you fought in the uh, in the games of Akros, the one that you beat. <laughs> that was a long time How did ago. I beat I him? Remember. I made him fucking say "aw," and I got. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't cast "aw" on him, but you just beat him in the very first episode. You fought a Minotaur. That's him. And that's him. Yeah, and he sees you, and it's the same thing. He just looks at you with a really angry face. <laughs> yup, and then there's another Minotaur that's, you know, like, you know, clad in like really shiny, you know, armor and whatnot. And he, he's a, he's a white Minotaur, all like white and whatnot. And the only one that understands this, of course, is uh, Theomas. Theomas is the only one that understands this as we're speaking in, in Minotaur right now. But, um, Eman, you hear... Me, this one, what the chapstick, mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So you hear um, you. the Minotaur, the white Minotaur, addressing um, me, and he's saying, "Well, well, well, look what we have here—a little Tavros crawling back for forgiveness." And I just, you I know, remembered up like Tavros. I thought you were Minotauros. And I, I do we, do we not mention that? And I, you lie. I, I kind of just, and I, I just kind of whisper, Minotaurus is my fighter name. My real name is Tavros. Shh. I heard that. So we don't even know who you are anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like none of y'all call me Quickfoot, but that's part of my name. So this is true. But I just tell him, shh. And then I just start speaking back to the doggone Minotaur. And I just say, Dorotheos, it's good to see you. Um, me and my uh, kinsmen here need access to Skofos. We have very important mission. And um, he... Me and uh, this Minotaur kind of start going back and forth where, you know, he starts, um, you know, just saying that, like, yeah, we have no business being there, that, you know, what's it called, that a traitor like me, you know, has no business freaking being there in that city and that, you know, uh, your kinsmen here that, you know, they freaking obviously have a habit of, you know, killing minotaurs and whatnot, or beating minotaurs in battle, so they clearly have no freaking business here, so you two, you all need to freaking do yourselves a favor, and tuck tail, and get out of here, or I'm arresting all of you. Can we, can I bitch slap him? You don't, you don't understand a word of what he's saying. Okay, well, can you tell me what he's saying so I can bitch slap him? Don't, the E-man's translating. Um... Prepare to roll initiative. Mm. I want to bitch slap him. <laughs> I mean, you can tell that it's getting intense. I know, I know it's getting me intense. Me and... My and language. Me and this guy are just huffing and puffing I, and, I and puffing our chests out at each other. And that we're not welcome here and there's a lot of drama that uh, we're not tuned in on, clearly. Exactly. Between yeah. Tavros can I and his homies. Slap? He just called... He just said Tavros. 
Uh, you guys don't know that name. You lied to us. I knew you were lying about your stupid name. Like, oh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just like. <sighs> so at this point, I'm getting super frustrated, and I start getting buck with this doggone guy, and I start telling him to freaking let us in or else. And. Oh, they have. Yeah. Can I bitch slap him, please? Then all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, what the hell is that? freaking. Let's see here. Four more minotaurs show up. Really? Yeah. Four, four more, yeah, four more minotaurs show up and they start, he, they start getting ready to freaking, you know, arrest us and whatnot. When, all of a sudden, uh, you guys kind of hear a, uh, a horn kind of going off, um, behind us. And... As you guys look um, behind y'all, you guys see the um, the Minotaur uh, Council member, the one that um, has been see, uh, you know speaking to us at the council, <laughs> and he comes up and you know kind of like looks in our direction and kind of like you know kind of gives us a nod, you know acknowledging our our, our presence, and. Uh, as a matter of fact, he uh, he addresses our group in in in, in common in ba basic English and whatnot, mm -hmm. and he basically just wants to know uh, what it is that uh, we're doing here. He wasn't expecting us to to see us here in uh, in Skolfos, as we didn't mention anything about about coming here at the last uh, council. We here with him. He got some unfinished business to take care of. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> I'm still looking at be like. If you don't have your guys calm the fuck down, it's about to be catching these hands. This is what you're ready to catch. Somebody about to get slapped to sleep. That's what the fuck's going to happen today. We're about to have all the school field come down on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's so, fine. And so, you know what I'm going to do with all those heads? I'm going to hold on to them back. Yo, Mogus, are you going to fucking calm down? Or am I just going to say, go fuck yourself, and I'm going to keep these to myself? That's so, I want to just <laughs> gather as many skulls and heads that I can and be like, Mogus, you got option A or you got option B? What's gonna be played? So the min the Minotaur uh, Council. So, so, so the Minotaur okay, Council wait, member um, addresses you, Javi, and says, "Why has this? Have these Minotaur here been causing you guys trouble?" Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Trouble at all. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, they have. Silence. <laughs> okay. So Someone what's it called? Tell the cat to go get some catnip and chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So not. then. So then I kind of step in and I I, okay. I, I tell I, I, cast I cast laser pointer and distract him. <laughs> 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 so then I kind of no, step in. An international incident. Yeah. So I step in and I I, I, I tell the, the council member what we're there for and whatnot. I tell him, hey, you know, I'm ultimately we're ultimately here to put a stop to the stone giant that's been causing a problem to the city for so long. At that point, the dog on. The Minotaur council member has heard enough, and he talks to the dog all white Minotaur, and he based again speaking to him in Minotaur. So me and Eman are the only one that understands him, but he basically just tells him, "Hey, like shut the fuck up and just back off, let him through." And freaking, you know, the white Minotaur kind of just looks at us with a, like a really like angry face. And then saying, I flip the bird. <laughs> same thing with the uh, with the uh, same thing. What's up? Same thing. What's up? Same thing with the other two Minotaur that Javi and Margo have and clearly the other bird. have clearly <laughs> beat up, but they reluct <laughs> but they reluctantly step aside. They reluctantly step aside, and uh, the Minotaur Council member, you know, kind of like puts his hand out and guides us into the city. So this would be the moment to crash, Karen. <laughs> Anything didn't pan out, I'm pretty sure that's what he would have cast. Yeah. <laughs> and then roll I would have just said, okay. like, no longer roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we avoided we, we avoided initiative for the time being. Yeah. So we go ahead and we um the Minotaur council member leads us into um Skolfos. And uh, it's a really, really big city that's um it's really complex it's basically a city built into this giant sandstone uh red sandstone maze so like as we're navigating 
Exactly, Ex- yeah, exactly, or elaborate. Or Without... With, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Without the, the council member, without the Minotaur council member, we never would have freaking made it through, you know, this city at all. Uh, well, without me too, because I've been here and stuff before too. But he guides us through this giant, like, you know, red sandstone walled maze city. You know, you guys start passing through these corridors. And there's, there are houses built into the walls and stuff. It's really like, you know, majestic looking for being like, you know, a desert, arid, canyon, red sandstone city. Um, he guides us to the very, very middle of the, um, of the, uh, the, the city. All along the way, he's explaining to us the, the problems that have been going on with said stone giant you know he just explains that you know from what he knows that a few months ago um a stone giant he doesn't know why exactly but a stone giant just kind of just started causing problems for the city he started scaring off like merchants that were on their way um conducting trade to the city um you know he just randomly just started hurling, you know, stones at the walls, you know, just damaging the freaking walls of the city. So this stone giant has definitely been a nuisance and, um, you know, it's been affecting like trade and revenue, um, that has been coming from the other cities to Skofos. So we make it to, while he's explaining all this, we make it to the grand center of Skofos. And at the very center of the city, you know, it's very majestic. There's you know, shops and there's, you know, um, houses and, you know, there's like temples and whatnot. Surprisingly, there are temples to, to other gods, not just Mogus, but there are temples to like, you know, uh, Perforos and, you know, there's temples to, uh, Karametra and whatnot. So there's temples to like other deities in the city. He guides us up these, uh, these stairs going up this really, really big hill and at the top of the hill, there is a grand structure to Mogus. <laughs> it's very, you know, <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> you know, there's I know like. My, I ain't gonna say nothing reckless right now, but when it comes to my turn, I can guarantee you one thing I'm gonna have a one on one talk with Homeboy. <laughs> so, he guides us up this hill. And he takes us to, like, this really grand, majestic temple. And as we come in to the temple, it's known as Mogus's Chalice. That's what this temple is known as. As we come in, um, you guys see um, at the uh, base of, like, this giant, like, altar to Mogus. There's a statue of Mogus kind of, like, holding a chalice. And at the base of the temple, there are these three... Um, really big minotaur that are kind of like, you know, worshiping Mogus. And they stop, they turn around, and uh, they look at us, and um, speaking in English, in basic common, um, the minotaur council member um, introduces you guys. He introduces us to um, essentially what is the ruling council of Skofos. So he introduces these three other Minotaur that together with him are essentially the ruling uh, council of Skofos. And uh, he expresses to them that, you know, the heroes here are here to deal with the uh, the stone giant that has been uh, causing us, causing the city of Skofos so many problems. And uh, at that, uh, the... The council members are overjoyed and, you know, they come and, you know, they start like, you know, shaking your hands and whatnot. Like, you know, they're really, really glad to like hear that you're coming to help them out with, uh, with the stone giant. All of a sudden, all of a sudden you guys hear, um, in English, I object. So what? And (laughs) you turn around. And it's that same white minotaur that was at the gate oh, of the love city. Oh, God. And he comes in and he storms into the freaking temple. 
And he starts complaining to the doggone council and whatnot, saying, these outsiders have no business whatsoever interfering in Minotaur affairs. In fact, this centaur here almost killed our fellow Minotaur warrior here. And the Minotaurs are kind of looking at you like, huh? And little old me. Awkward. All right. This Leon in here almost killed our champion that we sent to represent us in the annual Iroan oh, Games. Champion? That's neat. That's funny. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. We don't know. I'm what just saying, you keep running about. your mouth, you're going to be fucking next. Keep running your mouth. <laughs> you see? We're surrounded by them. I don't give a fuck. Keep running around. Get your backs right. I'm sorry. Keep running around. Not sorry. You don't piss me off. You see, they are clearly enemies of the Minotaur. Not I am enemies. Of you. you are. You just don't oh, like. I start building you an altar of Heliod like in the corner, like, oh god, Heliod taking strength because this is going to end badly. Must, must it ask us? Not his business. <laughs> <laughs> I start pouring libations <laughs> like, and like one of the way up to Heliod because this is like this is gonna end badly. So he and then he clearly points to me and he says, This one of all Tavros Tavros Polamistes is the worst of them all, as he betrayed the entire Minotaur people and guided all of our people astray, having them leave the city to follow other gods and leaving the protection of Mogus outside the walls of Skophos. Why then, council? Why must we trust was must we trust our fate and have them handle the stone giant when they clearly are enemies of the Minotaur people? You're your own worst enemy now. Shut up. Can I say something? Up. You Since I understand the proceedings, uh, is he invoking a right of challenge here before the altar of Mogus? Because <laughs> that's kind of a thing for your people. If we want to get out of this alive, somebody's going to have to do a challenge. Yeah. Well, as we're kind of contemplating what we're what we're going to do and stuff, the Minotaur Council member actually steps forward and vouches for us, and basically says that we cannot hold the champions of the council accountable for what befell of our Minotaur brethren as every Minotaur that goes into battle knows that it is not a confirmed victory. Literally. You know, so we cannot hold them accountable, you know, for the defeat of our brothers. And on top of that, yes, the actions of Tavros Polamestes, and I'm here like, every time they mention my name like that, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> the, you know, the actions of Tavros, yes, they were blasphemic against the god Mogus. However, we cannot deny the fact that him claiming allegiance to Iroas and thus opening the city of Skophos to other gods, it has led to great revenue and great prominence to our city, great trade. Our city has thrived because of our opening, you know, the, the gates and the worship to other gods. And, you know, the council is like, hmm, yeah. So they're kind of like, you know, nodding their head in like agreeance and whatnot. Um, but they do seem to be kind of, kind of divided and whatnot. Mm. The white minotaur speaks again. Well, you talk too much. And he's just adamant about the fact that, you know, that no, they, they're clearly an enemy of our people. They have no business, you know, like hand interfering in our affairs. You know, they must be punished for, you know, You're fighting against our minotaur. Shut up. They're the ones that accepted the challenge. If they want challenge, <laughs> then say so. Stop being a sore loser. Shut up. He's talking about guaranteed one on one. Nothing's guaranteed one on one, but if he goes against me, I'll guarantee that though for me. Quick. So. Fucking quick. So one of the council members stands up and um, he says, All right. 
This is how we're gonna solve this. Oh boy. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for that. He says, this is what we're gonna do. Alright. Tomorrow morning, we will host a trial by combat between the champions of the council and uh, Dorotheos and his mightiest warriors. If, if Dorotheos and his warriors defeat the champions of the council, then their crimes against the Minotaur people will be paid in full. But if the champions of the council defeat Dorotheos and his Minotaur warriors, then we will accept that as the fate of the gods, as the will of the gods, and you, Dorotheos, must present all your information that you have on the stone giant to the champions. Agreed. Sounds like a plan. Can't wait to see you on the field, homie. <laughs> and I'm kind of like looking at him go, going like this. <laughs> and Dorotheos. Like, oh, I'm so giddy. And the white minute, the white minute Yeah, then the yeah. white minute tour, Dorotheos kind of just <clears throat> kind of just huffs, but he says, Fine. I've been waiting for the moment to kill this Tavros of, of Skofos. And then I just get up in his face and I'm just like, let's go. <laughs> let's go shopping. Woo! Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna loot your ass when I'm done with you. Mm -hmm. The other Minotaur kind of gets in your face, Mar Margo, and is like, oh, I cannot wait to repay you for what you did to me, little centaur. Big baby. Woo! I was just gonna sit in the back and chuck fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> so the council kind of comes in. Ha ha ha. So the and then the other one, Hobby, the one that you beat at the uh, games of Acros, kind of just gets up in your face and just stares at you. Going all UFC way here. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna run my mouth. My action. I was not impressed by his performance. I was not impressed by your performance. So the council kind of steps in and kind of just separates everybody. He's like, all right, we'll go ahead and we'll handle this tomorrow morning. All right, so in the meantime, um, he uh, recommends, he goes, they go ahead and they, uh, they say to, the, uh, to our group that we're more than welcome to, you know, um, stay at the, uh, at the inn. And we're welcome to, like, you know, explore Skofos. Um, and they'll see us tomorrow at the inn, tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning. I mean, at the arena. Is there booze at the inn? Yes, there is booze at the inn. Let's see here. Time to get lit. Woo, woo. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Turn down for what? Oh, no. Okay, so what are you guys gonna do as the counts as the meeting has kind of been adjourned and whatnot, and you know we've kind of been, you know, giving a thumbs up to kind of just go ahead and just explore Skofos, you know, kind of turn it in for the night, and then you know, uh, oh, magical stuff. Of course. <laughs> it's not like Mogus is giving me fucking anything. Whoa, I'm to go to the shops because they're more rewarding than Mogus. So. Oh, all right. oh, Let's see, from scrolls, potions, staffs, sure books, whatever, enough. anything magical. Okay, so yeah, sure enough, you um, kind of start exploring uh, Skull Falls, and um, sure enough, we uh, we come up to a, um, a bazaar, and um, there is a shop there with some Minotaur um, alchemists that... Um, are advertising that they do have some magic items in stock. So the first item that they have is a shield plus three. Wait, I need a shield. Let's see here, shield plus three. I'm interested. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How much does he want for it? <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay. The next thing that they have here. How's the shield? Let's see here. Back up and how much for the shield? Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me get through this part first. Hold on. Uh, what is it again? Okay, it's a. How uh... much for the shield? How much for the shield? Give me a second, God. I need Good more PC. <laughs> it's gotta be a lot. It, it, it's a freaking. Sure. Legendary item and stuff, but let's see here. Ring of the Shield. Star There's um a ring that they have that uh has a um let's see, it has like a like a lightning symbol on it. And they claim that it's like you know pretty freaking powerful. Let's see here. Lightning ribbons? Let's see here. I don't believe it. No, not that one. Let's see here. There's another staff that they have, like a magic staff. Staff. You have staff. Two staffs. You already have a staff. The other one, it seems to be like made out of um ice. And, and another rod. So they have a shield oh, plus. The again? They have a shield plus three. They have like this magical. I want the shield. They have like this magical ring that has like a lightning symbol on it, and then they got two staffs. One that looks like it's like kind of made out of ice, and another rod. I want to investigate the uh, ring of lightning, apparently. Okay. So, they explain to you that it is a, apparently a ring of shooting stars. Hmm? While wearing this ring in dim light or darkness, you can cast dancing lights and light from the ring at will. Casting either spell from the ring requires an action. The ring has six charges for the following other properties. The ring regains 1d6 expended charges daily at dawn. It can cause, it can cast fairy fire and it can also cost, uh, cast ball lightning. You can expend two charges as an action to create one to four three foot diameter spheres of lightning. Uh, the more spheres you create, the less powerful each sphere is individually. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay, so depending on how many spheres. Oh, dude. So if you create, like, one sphere, it can deal 4d12 damage. Two spheres deal 5d4, 3, 2d6, and 4, 2d4 damage. So basically, yeah, it's um, a ring that you can use... You know, to cast uh, fairy fire, dancing lights, light, and also uh, to shoot basically lightning. Basically become Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something shooting stars. So, so you want that? I see my horse. I have a robe. I have a ring that shoots lightning. You might as well call me nickname. Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> so the um the Minotaur kind of like uh, at the stand kind of like you know is like okay and he kind of looks at you and whatnot and he kind of like you know kind of looks over like your robes and whatnot and he asks you he's like are 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 you a follower of Mogus by any chance? Oh lord! I had it for you, special price. I am one of his many champions. I, oh, so <laughs> you're the Leonin that we've yeah. heard so much about, the Leonin champion of Mogus. Oh, boy. They've heard yeah. of you. And then he hits you, he hits you with the, normally for, you know, a normal person, I would sell this 
for a hundred gold pieces. He's like, but for you, you know, you are a Mogus champion. I sell for 50 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a very rare ring, so I mean I, I, I that's a bit of a steal, man. I I, I would take it. Fifty gold. I did. That's good. Fifty gold. Make a raise on Woo! that. Make him pay. Whoa. That's all loot is so, <laughs> so you're good, hobby? Fifty gold? Right there. Woo! Bam. Make you got yourself a ring of shooting stars. Woo! So you wanna you wanna see about both the staffs? Okay, so one of them is a staff of power. The other is a staff of frost. Yes, absolutely. So the staff of frost is uh you have resistance to cold damage uh, while you hold the staff. The staff has ten charges while holding it. You can use an action to expend uh, one or more charges to cast one of the following spells. Uh, cone of Cl cold, fog no, cloud, so ice storm, or wall of ice. And then it regains a certain amount of uh, spells um, every uh, every day. And the staff of power, um, let's see here. Um, okay. charge the staff again. <laughs> staff can be wielded as a magic quarter staff that grants plus two bonus. Um... To attack and damage rolls made with it while holding it, you gain a plus two bonus to armor class, saving throws, and spell attack rolls. Oh. Wow, okay. Can I have both of them? Uh, this is gonna be kind of pricey, um, because uh, they're both pretty rare. So, um, uh, he wants, he wants 250 gold. You, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to maybe persuade him? Okay, so roll me a d20. Mm -hmm. Persuasion of these hands. 18? All right. Um, Shut up. Are you trying to get both of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, he sees that you're in the company of the... Champion of Mogus here. <laughs> so he says that, you know, just because of the fact that, you know, you're kind of affiliated with the Champion of Mogus, that he's willing to make like a one-time deal with you. And um, he'll give you both of the staffs for 300 gold. Together? Yeah. Okay. Deal? Yeah. Woo! Go ahead and deduct... 300 gold? Where you at? I was late. I know, right? Two hours later. Okay, go ahead and deduct 300 gold. Where'd you go? You got a staff of, you go to equipment, right here, to where it says currency, and yeah, you had um, gold here, so eight, one, two, three, so you're down to like 515. There we go. 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 And there we go. Okay, so you got yourself. Oh, yeah, you got to fix that. So, Staff of Power, Staff of Frost. And then, Sir Eman, you are interested in the shield plus three. Oh, the shield. <laughs> okay. Shield plus three. Um. Yeah, same thing. So uh, he's he wants to, he's willing to part ways with it for two hundred and fifty gold. Two hundred and fifty gold. Two hundred and fifty gold. Ah, uh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wham! I'm woo! Trying to negotiate with this guy. Hey, you are master <laughs> human. I, I know I would feel miserably, and if I told him I'm the champion of Heliod, he'd probably get really. <laughs> <laughs> well. They don't hate Heliod. They don't yeah, exactly. hate. They don't hate Heliod as much as they hate Iroas. Shh. <laughs> right. So you know hey. what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. No, I'm gonna take Woo! Yeah. So, so I'm gonna call it a day. There you go. So you got yourself a shield plus three. I still have my shield plus one. 
Do a trade-in? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, um, let's see here. He can take your shield plus one. Um, he's willing to pay you, uh, 50 gold pieces for it. Deal. All right, bam. So he takes your shield, bam. He pays you 50 gold pieces for the shield plus one. Woo! Yeah. Whoa. All right. Anybody doing anything else? Man, I want, mileage. I've never even used it. I want to see if anybody has anything better than a breastplate plus one. Okay, so Lady Margot, while we are all kind of like exploring the um, the freaking you know beautiful. magic items and whatnot, you kind of make your way over to the Forge Master, Lady, you know, Minotaur, you know, kind of clad in armor and whatnot. And uh, she expresses to you, actually, when you express to her that you're looking at, you know, armor, like, you know, stronger than what you currently have and whatnot. Uh, she expresses that she just got done crafting a breastplate uh, plus two. If you're interested. Oh, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me. Let me check it out real quick. Mm. Sure. Okay. All right, so it's a plus two breastplate. Uh, she's willing to part ways with it for 100 gold. You're welcome, darling. All right. Woohoo. She takes it. 100 gold. Bam. And I'll sell you my breastplate plus one. Breastplate plus one, um, same thing. Since it's kind of used a little bit, she's willing to part, uh, pay you uh, 50 gold pieces. Okay. Wham, woo, woo, 50 gold pieces, bam. She takes the uh, breastplate from you and you got a deal. All right. Thank you, darling, have a great day. Let's you go too. To All right. You'll be seeing me later. <laughs> Come by to spend your money. Woo woo. Woo. All righty. So kind of making our way. Uh, are, are we done with the shopping for the evening then? Yes. I think so. Okay. So making our way. Let's see here. <laughs> Okay, so making our way to uh to the inn, um, we start passing by a uh, a certain. Oh wait, what email? Okay, so making our way to the inn, uh, we're passing by a uh, certain establishment, a certain establishment that has a sign outside of it. Uh, called the Roaring Seder. And outside of it, there seems to be uh, a bunch of skimpy clad people. Oh boy. You know. Are they all Minotaur stuff? No, surprisingly, surprisingly no. <laughs> surprisingly no. It's a variety of, it's a variety of male <laughs> It's a variety of male and female, um, humans, minotaur, leonin, satyrs, tritons, and nymphs. Oh, right. All kind of like scadly, you know, like dressed, skimpy dressed outside of the this certain establishment. Skin is the new thing. Yeah. And then I'm going to go and say, <laughs> I remember this place. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> and I head on over. <laughs> and I actually look over at the Leonin and I say, Hey, Leonin buddy, you might probably enjoy yourself here. Come on over. <laughs> no. No! No! <laughs> wow. No. 
<laughs> you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I still got a score to settle with my deity, alright? <laughs> no. He's gonna spend all night in Temple of Mogus screaming at the clouds. I go and I. That's how he said it slowly, so it almost sounds like daddy. <laughs> and then I go and I, I put my arms. What am I going to do? Get mad at that fact? It's true. <laughs> I go and I put my arms around these ladies and I'm like, I see you in morning. <laughs> As I go inside the establishment. Like crude shrine of Heliod they have in the city center. And I'm just going to, you know, do my dangly vigil there. Woo! All righty, there. I ask. Sheila, hey girl, you want to go night? Like, on the town, let's go to a tavern, let's have a yeah. girls night. Since these guys obviously want to go off and do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, I got a score to He show. ghosted me! <laughs> She's just going bathroom for a second, but she said yeah. She said yeah. <laughs> I feel your pain, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and wallow those and heal so... <laughs> So, <laughs> so we go, we go, kind of my thing. so we go to the inn, we go to, we go to the inn, E-Man, you're just kind of like wallowing to the Heliod in the room. <laughs> uh, no, I, I went out into the town, like back to the center where they have like the shrines and stuff to the other gods. Oh, oh geez. Down there. Blasphemy, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so the girls and are... Whenever a random minotaur comes by, you know, since I speak their lingo, I try to convince them. Sir Heliod, and by the morning, I'm probably have like three or four black eyes. From <laughs> no, they're kind of just looking at you and just kind of just skimpering away, like they want nothing to do with you. <laughs> uh, with this guy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, who's this guy? I'm, I'm clear. Look at the sky. Is something there? Like, yeah. what is happening? I'm it's a little happy. <laughs> I'm clearly in the doggone but, in but this. Happy. I'm clearly in the brothel having the time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Javi, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, going to the almighty temple of Mogus. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so since Sheila's, since Sheila's indisposed at this moment, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll indulge you. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Screaming I lay down and I start doing my prayers to Mogus, waiting for him to answer my fucking calls. I'm like that ex girlfriend calling him constantly to give me answers, and I'm there just praying. And we'll see really if Mogus is a relationship. Okay, and the freaking this is a better and he really does love me. <laughs> and the statue kind of like you see life kind of come into the statue. And the eyes kind of look down at you. And he looks at you, Javi, and he says, Man, what do you want? <laughs> Alright, there's two fucking options here, my dude. Alright, you got two fucking options. <laughs> I have been nothing but shitted on by you this entire time. I've been killing enemies in fire. I've literally been doing the best that I can through every single mother fucking demon. And every single time, I've been getting shit on. So if you're going to continue to shit on your so-called almighty champion. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You might as well. I wait a minute. Just give this up. Wait a minute. I'll stop praying for you. You can take all of this crap back. Wait a minute. Reality. It's what it is. Hey. It's crap. I'll hey. say you can, get, you can have it all back. Hey. And I'll walk away. Hey. And I'll praise no one. Hey, wait a minute. You smell that? It smells like bitch in this temple. And it ain't me. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Absolutely done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to give up bogus. <laughs> oh, they were gone. Oh, no. So, he's not, he's obviously not amused. He's obviously not amused and he's just basically playing the little smallest world's smallest violin at you. <laughs> oh man. He he says he says, What the hell do you want, you little crybaby? I'm intrigued. 
I want your love, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> Fairly. It's simple. Fairly. Fairly. And all I've been getting is just getting shit on by you. Fairly. So why so, should I praise someone that treats me like shit? So let's define fairly here. So I go and I grant you a plus three spell against these devils. I also protect you. I've only used once. I've also protected Indeed. you against all these, you know, encounters that you've had against all these monsters. I have also granted you a chalice or a flask that allows you to summon all of my most powerful minions at your disposal. But you want to complain about being fair just because I show you some tough love? I don't like it. You can have the flashback. I told you from the beginning I never wanted it, but you forced it into my fucking back pocket. <laughs> he says, I'll gladly take it back. I mean, and... Bet. Say less. Take it right now. But if I, right take a, if, right I take, now, if I take it back, if I take it back, iron flask of Mogus is gone. He says if he takes it, but he adds if he takes it back, you can kiss my support goodbye. You ever been supported? So why should I? It's the support we die. <laughs> and he just goes. And he just goes, bet. He says, I got something special planned for you in the morning. Oh, I'm sure you do. Vice versa, we will be waiting for it. It's going to hit all of us, you fucker. I hope a row is coming no, because... Oh, my God. Wow. And I officially give no fucks, and I walk away from the altar with no blast. <laughs> I give you, dude, you, should, you should set fire to the temple just to like seal the deal. Wow, oh Javi just turned atheist. I I, I'm like the evil, I'm like the Kermit in the hood. I you know, I, I just come up. and I suggest I no whatever. Praise Bogus. I'm no longer a champion of Bogus. I give no fucks, zero fucks <laughs> at all. Wow. My pie, he goes from 50 to nothing, and I am. Fine with that, one hundred percent. Which means you live this, <laughs> all of it. Earth the earth temple set on fire. Why would I want to do that? Set on fire because I'm 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 the Kermit in the hood. Woo! You know, I, that's that's my job. Well, that's what you Woo! want. Woo! Don't care. Don't care. You don't get to cast blinding smite. You don't get to. Uh. Oh, look, you don't get focus. Nope. You don't have advantage on saving throws against nope. being chapter oh, three. Oh lord! You nope. have this is not going to be good. Constitution saving <laughs> by two. <laughs> Perfectly and strength by two. Absolutely. Well, anyways. <laughs> I did not mean. I did not mean Woo! to cast that. What are you doing? You have to take <laughs> two. I will, away. but you need to give Woo! me the mouse so I can take Do care of it. Do it. Thank you. Uh, well, what? <laughs> switching <laughs> from there. I give no fucks. I said it's either going to go one way or the other. So now we have Logan. Okay. 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 Let's tell you. So now we have I said Logus. I don't need X. You said you want to be fair. You want to be fair. That's it. Just those four. Just those four. We have. Oh, dude. Freaking Javi. Yes. Damn it, Javi! <laughs> oh, I the only ones we have on our side are Nylion and Nylia. Nylia, and then arguably, when I do this side quest, we'll have Iroas. Yes, you got and maybe Iroas. Three versus like four, six. Oh, God! This is like half the pit one. Unless we have uh. the weirdos like Krufax. Well, and like, what's her name? Yeah, we're gonna have to recruit. We're gonna have to recruit random gods at this point. We're gonna have to get random gods on our side. Yeah, unless we get like the weird ones on our side. Yeah, we're royally totally screwed. Yeah.
Nice going, Javi. <laughs> All righty. So, what's it called? I can tell that that, that she she was kind of hurting here. She's like literally like falling asleep and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just pause it here for the night and whatnot. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll pause it at at this moment where we're pretty much like turning it in, like you know, for the the evening and whatnot. And the following day, we are preparing to do this trial by combat thing um, to basically see where the rest of this mission goes. So, wow, Javi, what, talk about a curveball, man, God, <laughs> ah, geez. Well, it's gonna go terrible for me, but still, it works for me. It has to be spiteful. Yeah, we'll pick it up a few weeks from now and we'll continue our adventures here, seeing what happens in this climactic battle between us and these Minotaur here. <laughs>